Hi, I'm Olajide Oyokola. Today we'll be learning how to use transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today on Wednesday, let's do a little play with our um, with the transition you have in your effect panel here. You have trans different transition here. This is your 3D motion, this is your dissolve, this is a massive video, this is iris. This is your page P, this is your slide, this is your wipe, then this is your zoom. When you open any one of them, you still have other tools under them. If you open dissolve, you still have, you know, you can still see addictive dissolve, close dissolve, deep to black, and the rest like that. You, you, you see a massive video, you have your chroma leaks, and, among, and the rest. So if we scroll down again, you have iris. When you collapse the iris, you still have other, you, you have the list of branches under it, and the rest like that. Once you collapse them, you see them page, when you open your, when you collapse the page peel, any of them. So um, this light, you see, this is wipe. You can see you have a lot of transition under the wipe. Then this is your zoom. You have cross zoom under it. Now let me let's quickly do a little play around the transition. Let's bring this video this place. Now let's cut from here. To this place let's delete this place bring it together uh, let me increase the timeline a bit all right so let's pick this uh, you know don't forget you come to effect you select you come to your video transition there's difference between your video transition and your video effect this is your video effects. As we keep on going in this tutorial, we will come back to video effect too. On the video transition here, let's pick, let's go under this 3D motion. Let's pick this coop spin and let's see what it's going to do. When you want to use your transition, come to this place, then pick any of the transition you would like to use. Now, if I want to use this keep spin, I'll you click on it then you drag you drag the you keep you, you click on it then you drag it you will not release it until it gets your material then drop it on it do you see it look at it that is it that is it Let's pick another transition. Now, as I click on the transition, it shows you more details about the transition. Now, at the effect control here. Now, you, this is where you can work more on the transition. Look, if you look at this symbol, this means instead of, if you click it this way, it's going to transfer to the up and down yes if you click this way it's going to transfer from the left to the right if you click it click this down side it's going to move from up to down what transition actually does to your work is that it opens next materials for you in a creative manner that you might feel is best for your job depends on what you want you might decide to say okay this should go this way another thing you could do to your transition is that you can come to this alignment when you click on it this is center at cut. you can see the transition is standing in between the two materials now if you select start at cut, it means that it's going to start at the beginning of the next materials that is why you see that the transition move 
to the beginning of the materials. We select end at cut. What it means is that it's going to the transition is going to start at the end of the materials where it is where, where, where it is laid. Then duration is the length of the transition. If I reduce it to one seconds five frame. Now if I reduce it to 20 frame, the duration of the transition is going to reduce. Look at it very well on the timeline. Do you see that? If I still reduce it again, it's, it's still going to, do you see that? You know, it depends on how long you want the transition to, to last. That is it. If I increase it, that is it. You can see, you can see how long it, it takes. That is it. That is it. So let's use, let's pick another material, another transition. This is still under 3D. You can see that. Let's pick another transition. Let's pick cross dissolve. This is a common transition in film industry. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's a common transition in film industry. It's a seamless way of changing from one shot to another. The same way you could do the same duration, reduce the duration of the clip of the transition, then decide whether to transit at the to, to transit from the picture to the end. You can also choose to, to give you can also choose whether center at court or start at court or end at court it all depends on what you want you can also have it at start at court that is when the picture ends and you can also leave it at center at court it all depends on you then you can change the duration or increase it it all depends on you there are more to it then this is dissolve to black. Let me delete this cross dissolve. Dissolve to black. Let's see what this does. Look at it. You know, one shot go black. You can see that. So the same way you can decide the alignment, whatever alignment that you want. All right, then you can work on the duration of the transition. The same thing with all of them. You can pick this, this uh, deep to white. That is the, the previous one we use is deep to black and this is deep to white. Yes, you can see instead of going black, it's, instead of going, instead of going dark, it's, it's, it's come up, it's come up white instead of going going black it is coming instead of going black you can see that so this is film dissolve it is a close replica of cross dissolve they are common transition use in film industry if you come down like this you can pick any of the transition that you want Let's let me delete this. Let, let's pick Iris Diamond. Do you see that? It depends, it all depends on what you want. Another you, you can pick any of it. Let's see this PHP. Let's see this PHP. That is it. You can you can work on the you can customize it the way you want. Let's use the page turn. Do you see, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? So, and that is how you could use any of them. This is bank slide. I, I, I'm starting it, you know. This is end cut side. If I check, this is start cuts. As you can see, that is it. 
depends let's split the materials and see they say that it all depends on on your creativity that is it as you can see this has more you see that you can come this way depends it all depends on what you want uh, let's pick cross this up yes do you see that that is what a camera will have done for you on your location adobe just make it easy for you transitions are your tools that you can use to make your work more beautiful when you are leaving a particular shot to another shot or when you are leaving another a particular location to another location if you decided if you decide to use a transition to move to another shot if i decide to duplicate the materials add more and let me use another let me use slide uh, let me use a transition i've not used okay i've not actually used slide let me put it during this tutorial i've not used in this tutorial let me do my marking and out then uh, let me use deep to black on the opening shot deep to black yes then let's see yeah so make sure you try this then let me know don't forget to comment if you are watching for the first time please subscribe to my channel now like the video then share thank you i'm olajide uyekola